As more and more evacuees return to their Bay Area home, some are coming back to some pretty serious damage, and now they're hoping the government can give them some help. News Channel 8's Michael Hyland is live at a temporary FEMA registration center in St. Petersburg. Hey, Michael. Hi, with a lot of large trees like this one coming down, people have a lot of work to begin that rebuilding process, and we were with one woman tonight as she got started. You see all down here, water came up here. Gloria Francine Maxwell's home has never flooded before. She also didn't expect the wind that brought down part of her fence. The wind was blowing so hard. By the time she realized she should leave St. Petersburg, it was too late. We were with her as she registered for assistance from FEMA. But you still don't expect it. And the wind was deafening. So, I mean, I ended up in the bathroom in the middle of the house in the tub. With the power out all week, some people haven't been able to get online. Local political leaders opened this office. Hundreds have shown up also to get out of the heat and get a good meal sharing their experiences during Irma. It was very frightening, very, um, I get chills just now talking about it. For many, their most pressing need is something FEMA can't provide, electricity. Gloria Francine just got hers back. Hallelujah. You want to thank all your angels and Jehovah and Jesus and the Holy Spirit, everybody. It's been a trying week, one that no one hopes to relive. Gloria Francine says she will not ride out the next hurricane here. Tomorrow, the city of St. Petersburg is opening up disaster relief centers so more people can get a chance to apply for help from FEMA. Jen? Much needed assistance. Michael Hyland, live in St. Petersburg for us tonight. Thank you, Michael.